Two dedicated county workers and a pilot dead, and a government attorney who became a hero. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Last night's plane crash on Lanai has sent shockwaves of grief across two islands. KITV4 has team coverage tonight. Brenton Awa spoke to the family of one of the victims. Laura Yamada traveled to Maui where the mayor and the county workers mourn tonight. But first, we'll begin with Andrew Pereira, who visited Lanai where that plane went down. He's just arrived back at Honolulu Airport and joins us now with the details. Andrew. Well, Paula, after spending the day in Lanai City, myself and the photographer that I traveled with got to do what three people never got to do last night, and that is go home with their loved ones. Uh, the feeling on Lanai today is one of mourning, complete devastation. Uh, these folks that were killed were part of the Maui Planning Department and had been developing the community plan for Lanai over the past year. So this community of about 3,000 people got to know these folks pretty well. And even if you didn't know them personally, residents in Lanai say that uh, they developed a relationship. And because this tragedy, tragedy that is, happened on Lanai, they are definitely taking it very hard. And their sympathies go out to the families of those who were killed. Uh, now we're going to roll you some video. About 15 hours after this crash happened, at about 9.23 last night, the bodies of the three victims were removed. And those victims have been identified as Kathleen Kern and Tremaine Balberti, two workers with the Maui Planning Department. The pilot was also killed, but we do not have his identity confirmed at this point. Now, the Deputy Corporation Counsel for Maui, James Garreau, is being hailed as a hero. He's the one that placed the call, the 911 call, to emergency dispatch at 923, telling them that he had been on board a plane that crashed about a mile southeast of the Lanai Airport runway. Now, Garreau is uh, praised for his actions because he actually went inside the burning wreckage and uh, pulled out Douglas Miller and Mark King, two other Department of Planning uh, uh, workers from Maui, out of that burning wreckage. Uh, they believe that uh, Garreau uh, may have actually saved these gentlemen's lives. And uh, uh, Mr. Miller and Mr. King were taken to the Queen's Medical Center in critical condition where they remain uh, at this hour. Uh, we do not have an update on their condition at this point, uh, but everybody on Lanai is saying that their prayers are going out to the survivors of this plane crash. Uh, we expect a team from the National Transportation Safety Board uh, to arrive on Lanai. Uh, possibly they're already there. They'll start looking at the wreckage with a fine tooth, fine tooth comb, that is. Uh, however, we're told by folks that were up close on that wreckage that there's very little left. Uh, the plane, I am told, uh, took a, uh, a, about a hundred yard skid and then it was on fire. Uh, because, uh, because of that fire, there is very little left of the fuselage. In fact, one person told me that if you came upon it, you may not even recognize that it was a plane. Uh, we do have an interview ready for you, uh, someone talking about the actions of uh, James Garreau and what he did uh, last night. If he did that, then he ought, to be, he ought to get something for that, because that's heroic. That's what you do when you're in that position. I got to give him a lot of credit. And again, everybody in Lanai giving Mr. Garreau, the Deputy Corporation Counsel on Maui, tremendous credit, possibly saving uh, Mr. Miller and Mr. King's lives. That's the latest. We'll have more coming up on KITV 4 News at 6. Back to you.